uh, maybe we've been bored a little bit and just dying to learn something new about drawing, well, now's the time. You all get to enjoy it. I'm going to do a video on negative space. I'm going to talk about what it is and how to use it to make drawing easier. You all get to enjoy it. Uh, so after this video, um, after I talk about it a bit and after you've practiced with uh, an exercise and an assignment, hopefully you'll have the new ability to see and draw negative space. Alright, so what is it? What is negative space? Um, in a composition, in a, a picture, or in just your field of observation, uh, negative space is the space around the form you are drawing. Uh, so if the form is the object, or the person, or the thing, whatever it might be, that part is considered positive space, um, while everything else is negative. Um, so if you're seeing me, and I'm the person, or I'm the object in this composition, then everything around me would be the negative space. So you can see how when my form changes, then the negative space changes as well. This is what we're going to be learning to look at and learning to work with in order to draw. So even though it might be an easy thing to define and understand, okay, positive, negative, it's still a counter, it's still counterintuitive to observe negative space. If you're observing a thing, you're thinking about that thing. You're not thinking about everything else that that thing isn't. Um, so when we're with this new way of observing and drawing that we're going to learn with negative space, um, we're going to be looking at everything that isn't what we're drawing, basically. So it's going to be a strange kind of thing to get to click, but once it clicks, it's really going to help your ability to get forms and shapes and, and complicated things um, drawn well and accurate. After you learn it a bit and you're exercising with it and you're practicing it a bit, using observing negative space to help drawing is going to change the way you see things. Uh, if you can click between observing positive form and the negative space and you can go back and forth, all of a sudden um, the shape of things, like their edges and what makes, what defines their form, um, whether it be a chair or a table or um, a desk, they'll just kind of come into view a little bit more intuitively. Um, than if you were to just say desk, chair, table, um, because we're familiar with those things. Uh, instead of just saying those things and understanding that that's a desk, a chair, and a table, you're just going to let their shapes come into view when you can toggle between positive and negative. Letting things come into view is especially handy when what you're seeing is not very straightforward. For instance, uh, a foreshortened view. If something's coming toward you in the plane, right, if something's coming in your direction or away from you, uh, that can be pretty challenging to draw or to, to tackle when, when it makes the arm or it makes that form uh, very strange and unfamiliar. Um, it's, it might be hard to think about what shapes you're actually drawing when you're looking at that arm. But if you can use the negative space in those instances, and you, can, and you can look at, instead of the form, you could look at the spaces around it to help kind of balance and check to see that the shapes are, are, are creating that form. All right, so whenever you're ready, uh, you can follow along with this exercise however you'd like. I'm going to walk you through it and I'm going to talk about what I'm doing I'm going to talk about everything you need. We're going to be using a stick or a twig or leaves, um, something you can find in any old bush, any old tree, a pencil, a sharpie, and a white piece of paper. Um, like a printer, like a sheet of printer paper is fine. Um, and the printer paper is going to go underneath the plant and you're going to place the plant on top of that printer paper and then we're going to be drawing in our sketchbooks. So I found a 
branch from a pine tree outside. And when I set up, I decided that the needles were too complicated, so I pluck them all off. Now I want to set it up in a way that's framed nicely within the borders of the paper. Uh, and when I was looking at it, it was popping up a lot and it was kind of tricky to actually pin down the shapes of the white paper. So I decided to take down the little branches just to, to help flatten it. Because what we're actually going to be looking at when we're drawing is the shapes that the white paper makes. So the space between the branches. Some of them look like funky little triangles. Uh, one of them over there looks like a boot. It's like a little boot. Those are the shapes that we're paying attention to. And every now and then we can check the branch to make sure it's say the right thickness or it's got the right little bumps. But primarily overall what we're looking at is those white shapes. Yeah, the white shapes are the negative space. So when we're done with this, what we're going to have is a negative space drawing. When it's all done, the white, what's white on our actual branch there will be black in our drawing and where the branches will be left white. shapes that the negative space makes in pencil, then you fill in the negative space with your marker. Um, you can start by going over the edges, and when you do this, this is your chance to kind of correct them or make them more accurate or get the little details that might be there. Um, I'm grabbing a piece of paper, all right? So don't forget to do this when you're drawing with the Sharpie, especially on paper that's thin like this. If you don't want it to bleed through to the next one, find a piece of paper, something to stick underneath it, and that's gonna stop it from bleeding through and messing up all your other papers. See, clean. Now I'm just filling in the spaces there. And I'm going to do that for all of those spaces. about the quality of the marker itself. Um, it's not so much about how it looks, it's more about recognizing those negative spaces as their own shapes. Um, so if you feel like 
the smudginess or the line, the quality of the marker isn't so great. You can always go over that later or go slower and do it more evenly. Um, I was just doing it for the sake of getting those shapes down. negative space before uh, and what was the positive space before will be switched in your drawing the positive will become the negative and the negative will become the positive you all get to enjoy it